From the title of the video, we are about to expose the truth to the people. But first, credits to the artist of this artwork, Fine Art America. Disclaimer, this video is only for reporting purposes. I do not take any credit for the images or sound used. The sources of the videos are clearly mentioned in credit. And now ladies and gentlemen, it is truth time. The internet has the power to be extremely dangerous. You may use it positively to earn money or spread awareness. However, it could also influence us negatively to cause harm and act maliciously. On this video, we'll be digging deep into the stories told by one Kenyan blogger Edgar, or as he calls himself, his Tinas. I started blogging because I had just finished my master's in computer science and my leg happened to be broken then. So instead of looking for a mainstream job, I started doing YouTube videos, Edgar said in an interview with Amin Abdi of The Trend. He started out by creating videos on his life, specifically his love life with then-girlfriend Wasara. Despite putting a lot of effort into it, including one video where he is seen acting out his depression after the relationship was over, his channel only gathered a small audience. Realizing the bore of telling stories of his personal life, he moved to discussing trending topics such as the rapper T.I. and other stories. His views increased but not his exposure, which he decided to look for desperately by asking for anyone on his social media to give him information on celebrities, allowing anyone to give their personal opinion which he publicized as the truth. One of the videos he uploaded was about the Wajesus family. He claimed they had acted selfishly by copyright claiming their content because they usually say at the end of their videos to like, share and subscribe. However, it was easy to pick out that Millie and Kabi did not mean to directly steal their content, but to share the link of their videos. That should be easy to understand, right? Well, maybe not to everyone. He also said that the Wa Jesus had stopped saying hi to people at their local church. Citing as example of the Watts family, another YouTube family. Edgar claimed that the Watts family informed him that the Wa Jesus is no longer come to say hi to them as they used to as their channel had gained a huge following. This came off as outright jealousy as the Wa Jesus used their channel to minister of the good the Lord had done to them, but Edgar and the Watts family were not happy about their success. Many saw this as Edgar's way to gain a large following as he, at the time, had 30,000 subscribers and the Watt Jesus had surpassed the 100,000 mark. The Watt Jesus family stayed gracious and gave no thought to the selfish attack. I guess they prayed on it. Good move. But that's not all. In another video Edgar talked about Terence Creative and Millie Jet B's marriage, and even went as far as inviting the side girlfriend, Soina, to his YouTube channel, citing her as the victim. All of which was a malicious way of Edgar expanding his viewers, making Soina famous, and brutally destroying a marriage that involves their one-year-old baby girl, Milla. Edgar claimed that all parties were aware of the infidelity, but it is obvious that publicizing it made it harder for them to heal through the damage, and involving the public opinion put a heavy burden on their shoulders. We are glad that the couple has decided to work through the marriage, despite the hiccups. We wish them all the strength, especially to Millie Chebby, the real victim. Now. Brace yourself for the most disheartening story ever uploaded by Edgar. Here, he showed us the extent he is willing to go, just for views, just for subscribers, just for fame. This story is very desperate, because the people are not celebrities, nobody knew them until Edgar's video was uploaded. To make matters worse, it was about a minor. Somebody way below 18 years of age. In fact, still way below one year old. Yes, he did a story about an infant, just for views. On his video, he collected wrong information, and was very biased on the information he revealed. The story, was between the mother and father of the baby, including his family. The mother claimed that Anthony, the father of the child, assaulted her and harmed the baby too. This was with the help of his mother and sister. 
Edgar went on to collect more information from his social media followers, featuring one girl who claimed Abby, whose the mother had earlier wrongfully accused her of being with her child's father. The blogger finalized by concluding that Abby has mental problems because she did not share the pictures of the hurt baby or proof of him getting any medical treatment. It was later revealed that Edgar hastily uploaded the video before getting the full information. Pictures and videos surfaced of the hurt baby, including a CT scan done on the baby. More so, the father of the child later apologized for what he had done and was remorseful. People were upset with the women who did it to the fellow woman. What's even worse is that after denying they did anything wrong to Edgar and lying they had a case pending, it was later revealed that Anthony had been brought in for questioning at Muthiga police station and his fingerprints taken. That was when his mother reached out to Abby's mother to seek an out-of-court reconciliation. How terrible. This woman is in her late 50s supporting violence against another person's daughter, then when action is taken, she seeks sympathy. It was also revealed that the girl mentioned earlier, who played innocent was not. In Edgar's video, she claimed that her phone was used to call Anthony, making Abby assume she was in relations with Anthony. She had been sexually involved with Anthony. More so, they severally requested Abby for a threesome early 2019. She cried wolf to Edgar while guilty of her mistakes but because Edgar wanted to make a compelling video against Abby, he included it without question. The father of that child renamed his account to insult his own son to hurt the mother. He seems very capable of hurting his own child too. Most recent of Edgar's stunts was only a few days ago when he claimed Jalangu had been pursuing him and sending him threats. He claimed he was going into hiding as he feared for his life. This was quickly dismissed by the radio presenter, citing his busy schedule in public places. Other celebrities like Akathi came out to shun the blogger for using celebrities for the desperation of clout chasing. It was also revealed to us that Edgar is shady in his advertising deals by several business accounts whose products he had advertised. This one business account explained to us how he lost 1,000 Kenya shillings on advertising that is only painted to look like it works. At the end of the day, he learned a valuable lesson that always opt for sponsored advertisements by the official social media app, whether Instagram, YouTube or Facebook. As we were concluding this video, we realized that most videos done by Edgar are about relationships. More so, him trying to meddle destroy them. Could this be because of his separation to ex-girlfriend Wasara? We also noticed he's always in the same pair of shoes, so this could be all be about money. Or is he desperately looking to get to the 100,000 subscribers to get the first YouTube plaque like the Wa Jesus family did? Tell us in the comments section below. Meanwhile, here is a video extract from Tuco News in which Edgar blatantly lies to the audience. Enjoy. Are there stories you don't touch on or are there stories you are like, e, ama has, ha, have you ever, you know, closed a story and you're like, e, si guzi, and why? Yeah, there are a couple of stories to do with um, categories of people. Let's say minors. I don't like touching stories to do with minors because, because yeah. children. Yeah. Like why? Mm -hmm. And particular stories, I'm always bombarded. Talk